Let's talk about education briefly. You know, 2007, um, the SNP promised to cut P1 uh, to three class sizes to 18, but I mean, that's never never gotten close. I think the average is around 23. There's only about one in eight children in, in classes of 18 and less. I mean, that's an example of something that you could have fixed as, as a government, could have fixed as a party, and you haven't, and you've had 17 years to do so. But we've got, first of all, we've got the best teacher pupil ratio. But that was anywhere, a promise you made in 2007. Any, anywhere you, in the UK. You've, you've missed it. A lot's happened in 2007, and a lot of that is out with our control. I just mentioned to you 14 years of austerity. Nobody could have in 2007 foreseen that a Conservative government would come in and then usher in 14 years of austerity. And that's just not... How does, that, how does that change well, class tell, sizes? Well, I'll tell you exactly how it changes class sizes. Because what austerity means, if I just take the last couple of years, is £500 million pounds of a real terms cut out of your budget. Now, I, I, I would be lying to the readers of The Sun if I said that taking £500 million pounds out of my budget isn't going to have a consequence. And that's just... I'm just giving you the example of two years, let alone the preceding... the, the, the 14 years of austerity... Uh, that we have had from the Conservative government. So budget cuts, although it just sounds like a phrase that political parties use, it has a real impact. There's no way over the next five years, if this 1.6 billion, uh, sorry, 1.3 billion pound cut in our capital budget is realised, there's no way I can look your readers in the eyes and say that a 1.3 billion pound capital cut to our budget is not going to have an impact. It really matters. So yes, we've made progress on class sizes. We have, as I say, the best teacher uh, pupil uh, ratio in the country. But where we have where we want to go further, that is undoubtedly hampered by the fact that we are facing not just 14 years of austerity. The troubling thing is, of course, Labour are promising to align themselves with Conservative spending and uh, uh, public investment cuts.